Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, I am going to share a lot of things today, including packing tips. So I'm going to share everything that I've learned about packing when I was still a flight attendant. Second is we are going to classify things, whether it can be inside your check-in baggage or your carry-on baggage. And the last but not the least is I'm going to share my summer essentials whenever I go on vacation. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video, just like this one. So if you are ready, let's begin. Here guys, na ba beach na bang ba lahat? And speaking of beach, I pupunta akong El Nido, so that's why I am packing right now. And sobrang kalat ng bed ko because I'm currently putting all of the items na dadalhin ko sa El Nido. Since I am doing the packing, so might as well I'm going to share my packing skills. <laughs> packing skills talaga. Because I've noticed both on my TikTok and YouTube comment section, ito yung frequently asked questions na niyo. Kung ano nga ba yung mga bagay na dapat i-hand carry at kung ano ang pwedeng i-check in. So today, I am going to answer some of those questions while I am packing for my El Nido trip. So let's go. Usually, whenever I travel as much as possible, I bring one small bag, one luggage as a hand carry, and one luggage as a check-in baggage. Bakit nga ba? Now, for this small bag, I make sure na it's something that can fit under the seat of the aircraft. So for that small bag, dun ko nilalagay lahat ng mga items na kakailanganin ko sa flight, such as alcohol, IDs, boarding pass, my phone, and a whole lot more. So basically, yun yung mga items na kailanganin kong ilabas kapag nasa loob ako ng airport. Now, for the carry-on baggage, dun ko nilalagay lahat ng mga gadgets ko and my vlogging equipment which includes laptop kasi nagtatrabaho pa rin ako kahit nasa bakasyon para may pambayad sa bakasyon guys and another one my vlogging equipment such as my camera vlogging microphone my GoPro and my power bank now for the power bank hindi pwedeng i-check in ang power bank guys dapat hand carry lang siya whether it is an international or domestic flight your power bank must be inside your hand carry so basically for my hand carry baggage wala na akong ibang nilalagay doon kasi laptop pa lang. Sobrang bigat na niya, guys. Ayokong sobrang bigat. Knowing na ako lang din naman maglilift ng bag para ilagay sa overhead bin. It needs to be within 7 kilos for your hand carry baggage or depending on the airline. Now, sasabihin niyo sa akin, Miss Jen, may FA naman. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not part of the flight attendant's job description to lift your bag inside the overhead bin, guys. Hindi yun kasama sa trabaho niya. Pero, you can always ask for assistance. When you say assistance, dalawa kayong maglilift ng bag para ilagay sa overhead bin. And, wag na wag nyong bibitawan yung bag in the middle of the lifting, guys. Because I've experienced this before. May pasahero na nag-ask sa akin ng assistance para i-lift yung bag. So, kaming dalawa nag-lift ng bag. In the middle, nakaganyan na kaming dalawa. Binitawan niya. So, ako, nabitawan ko din kasi sobrang bigat ng bag. So, don't ever do that. Kasi baka magkaroon ng injury yung flight attendant sa likod. And you know what, guys? Mostly sa mga flight attendants right now, pumasok sila sa industry na walang scoliosis. Pero nung umalis na sila, dun pa sila nagkaroon ng scoliosis because of that. Tulungan na lang tayo para sa ikapapanatag ng biyahe. ba? Nilagay ko na dito yung camera ko so that I can pack and talk at the same time. Now for my check-in baggage, dun ko na nilalagay lahat ng mga gamit na kakailanganin ko for the trip. Such as toiletries, skincare products, makeup, at ang mga OOTDs ko which is very important. First nating ipapack ngayon is my skincare. Kapag nasa condo ako, dito ko nilalagay yung mga skincare products ko and we are going to transfer it sa travel pouch na to. Whenever I buy some skincare products, I make sure to buy the travel size of it as well. But you can always purchase containers intended for traveling, guys. Minsan nakaset na yan siya and it's inside a pouch. But I am not really a fan of it kasi before when I was still a flight attendant, yun din yung ginagamit ko but it's prone to leaking. Kaya hindi na ako gumagamit ng ganun. So say for example the PH Care, they have the 250ml of this. Hindi ko naman dadalhin yung 250ml na PH Care for my 4 days trip guys kasi hindi ko naman ito mauubot. So, ang dadalhin ko na lang is the travel size of this specific bottle. So, bumibili ako ng mga travel size. So, for this, this is just 50 ml. Or, if you wanted to save some space, pwede ka ding bumili ng mga sachets ng PH Care. Pero hindi lang sa PH Care ha. It will also apply for shampoos. Which is for me, this is very travel friendly kasi hindi siya mag-occupy ng too much space on your luggage. Since we are talking about liquids, which is common mistakes ng mga 
not Pinoy whenever they travel. They don't know if that specific liquid can be for check-in or can be for hand carry. So say for example, this 250ml bottle, hindi ito pwede sa loob ng hand carry baggage mo. Pero pwede siya sa loob ng check-in baggage mo. Kasi ang pwede lang na liquid sa loob ng hand carry baggage mo is 100ml and below. Now let me give you some instances kasi dito nalilito yung mga nagta-travel. So say for example, I have 150ml bottle. Pero hindi siya puno. As what you can see, hanggang dyan na lang siya. Pwede na ba to as a hand carry since hindi naman siya puno? The answer is no. Kasi hindi tinitingnan sa airport yung content. Ang tinitingnan is the bottle itself. Inside my skincare pouch are toner, cleanser, makeup remover, sunscreen, lip balm, eye serum, and we have another serum here, acne treatment, and my moisturizer. I'm done packing the skincare, so ilagay na lang muna natin siya sa side. Next is makeup. So dito ko nilalagay yung makeup ko kapag nandito lang ako sa loob ng condo, but whenever I travel, nilalagay ko siya sa pouch na to. Hindi ko dadalhin lahat ng mga makeup products ko. Dadalhin ko lang yung mga bagay na gagamitan ko during the trip. Nasa loob na yung powder next is Kilay. Kilay in life. Next is mascara. This is waterproof, so I don't have problem bringing that or using that. Some brushes. Cheek tint. Concealer, another brush. I'm going to bring my setting spray. So, mag-review tayo. This bottle is 118 ml. Hindi siya puno. Hand carry siya or check-in baggage? Answer. Check-in baggage siya because it's more than 100 ml. Kahit hindi pa puno, pero yung bottle is 118 ml. Check-in baggage. My primer, blush. Whenever I have a beach trip, hindi ako nagdadala ng foundation. Instead, I am using a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. Curler. Magdadala din ako ng tweezers, just in case, and pang trim ng kilay ko. Now, if you have a sharp object like this, bawal to sa hand carry. Dapat mo tong ilagay sa check-in baggage mo. Okay? My bronzer. For my compact powder, look at this. It's so cute. Sobrang liit. Bagay talaga siya for travel. So, ito yung dadalhin ko. Our makeup kit is full. It's all good. Lagay natin sa side. Now, let's move on to toiletries, guys. At ilalagay natin siya dito sa pouch na to. First is toothpaste. Malaki talaga yung toothpaste na dinadala ko kasi share kami ni Bards. Toothpaste lang kami nagsashare. Hindi toothbrush siya. And then lotion. Shampoo and conditioner. Now, for the shampoo and conditioner, sa shade talaga dinadala ko because it's super space-saving. Next is sabon. It's what you can see. Naka-ziplock siya, guys. Para mas easy siya to pack. Alam niyo ba itong sabon na to? Nakarating na to ng Bicol, ng Sigma. Singapore at ng Cebu. Malayo na narating niya. Next is fashion tape. Palagi ako nagdadala ng fashion tape ko whenever I travel kasi minsan yung mga OOTDs ko very compromising. Dental floss. Nagdadala ako ng dalawang klaseng dental floss. This is the second type of dental floss. Ito yung nilalagay ko sa bag pag lumalabas. And the last but not the least is my pH care. Karating na din to ng Ilocos, Albay, Cebu at Singapore. Speaking of pH care, it's so hot and humid outside, diba? Well, it's given because it's summertime but whenever we are on a vacation, as much as possible, we wanted to maximize our time. So, gagawin natin lahat ng mga activities natin on our itinerary. But because of the init at lagkit, especially us girls, if we feel unclean down there, we tend to be very uncomfortable. And if we are uncomfortable, tendency is, hindi na natin nagagawa yung mga activities na supposedly gagawin natin on our trip. And we don't want that on our vacation. So, that's why I always bring my pH care cooling comfort. So, this is my way of beating the heat. Because for this pH care cooling comfort, feel na feel mo ang icy fresh feeling. Kasi meron siyang active cool for that cooling sensation and at the same time, meron siyang odor protect to guard you against odor. And lastly, it has a pH level of 5 so meaning it is safe to use every day. I don't know if you've seen my Singapore vlog but just in case you miss it, I'll be putting the link of the vlog in the description box below. So on that vlog, I shared my essential bag and kasama na doon ay yung mga items kung paano ko nilalabanan yung init at lagkit ng panahon. Kasi sa Singapore, sobrang init doon. So you really need to bring items na makakatulong sa'yo para labanan yung init ng panahon at ang lagkit na feeling. So in my essential bag, shinare ko doon na nagdala ko ng payong which is super duper helpful. And by the way, for the payong, there are certain airports na sobrang strict about umbrellas. Say for example, Mactan Cebu International Airport, ayaw nila na nasa hand carry mo yung payong. Kaya just to be safe, ilagay mo na to siya sa check-in baggage mo. Sa Singapore vlog, I also brought my tumbler. Nilagay ko dito yung cold water, 
ko and it was so helpful to refresh us. At nagdala din ako no ng PH Care Cooling Comfort Daily Feminine Wipes kasi ito talaga sobrang savior ko din to in terms of beating the heat. So aside from the feminine wash, dala ko din yung feminine wipes nila. Ito din yung bag na gagamitin ko for my El Nido or Palawan na trip guys. So ilalagay ko sa bagahe ko. The next thing that I'm going to pack is para sa buhok ko at ilalagay ko siya sa pouch nito. These are the attachments for my blower. This one is to straighten my hair and this one naman is to dry my hair. I'll bring my styling cream, comb, brush, bonding oil, chucha, and then headband. So whenever I do my makeup or my skincare routine, ayoko yung buhok ko all over the place. This styling gel, and they're good. Let's put it on the side. Now I have my blower and my hair straightener for styling. Okay, ito common questions to. Kung pwede ba siya hand carry or check-in baggage? Now the answer is, pwede siya both. Nandito na tayo sa pinaka-exciting na part and that would be the OOTDs, guys. At ilalagay ko siya sa pouch na to. So ngayon pa lang, you can tell that I don't travel light. I've already prepared all of my OOTDs na dadalhin ko for this trip. And what I'm gonna do is that ilalagay ko na lang siya dito. And usually, niro roll ko siya kasi mas nakaka-save ng space if i-roll mo yung mga damit mo. Say for example this, niro-roll ko lang siya ng ganyan. So we have another dress right here. I just fold it in half and then roll it. Roll it. Roll it in the river. So we have two dresses now. Siyempre, yung mga damit ko, guys, nakaplano na yan siya for day one, day two, day three. And I always bring extra clothes just in case mag-extend. Sure. For me, personally speaking, packing is one of the hardest parts of traveling. Ang dami kong dresses, di ba? Pero yung pantulog ko, nadadalhin ko, isa lang. Now, for my intimates, nilalagay ko siya dito. And this is how I pack my intimates, guys. I will show you how I do it. So, say for example, this is our panty. And yes, matanda na ako. Pero yung panty ko, meron pa rin siyang days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Kompleto yan, guys. The days of the week. Anyway, this is how I fold my panty. So, I just roll it like that and then turn it over fold it on each side and then roll it again until makita mo na yung garter as simple as that and then ilalagay ko siya sa pouch na to and for my bra since most of my dresses are so sexy hindi ako nagdadala ng bra I nipple cover lang ako. Now it's time to pack my swimwear. And whenever I travel, nagdadala ako ng plastic just in case may basa and also extra pouches kasi dito ko nilalagay yung mga damit na hindi ko nagamit para hindi magmix yung madumi at malinis na damit. For the footwear, ilalagay ko siya dito and since it's a beach trip, ang dadalhin ko lang is slip-on, slippers. So aside from this essential bag, I am also going to bring this OOTD bag which is super duper cute. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Make sure to bring your medicine kit. All of my travel essentials are now packed on their corresponding pouches. Now let's put them inside the luggage. Let me just show you what it looks like kapag niroroll yung mga damit. And this is what my check-in baggage looks like after packing everything. There's still a little bit of space here para may room ako for pasalubong. And that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!